What's up, Bills fans? Um, I don't know. I think I've hit an all-time low today. It it was just one of the most horrible, horrible games to watch in terms of like just nothing, just inept. Can I say? Actually, I can't say inept because the only thing that they had good going, the defense played very, very hard. They they tried you know, their best, you know, they scraped together a few sacks, they they got a turnover, it, and but at the end of the day, you get Trent getting hurt does not help at all, and, you know, you have, thank God he's gone next year, Lossman come in and just totally, you know, throw a pass that's going to go for three yards on a fourth and 15 when you know you must have 15 yards, you know, you're throwing a pass that's going to go for at most five or six. And then the previous two plays before that, he tries to gun a touch pass to Lynch. Then he just, he gets sacked. He throws an, he just, just total, no instincts back there whatsoever. Marshawn Lynch, I don't understand why this guy didn't have 25 to 30 carries. Why did this guy not touch the ball more? The guy was tearing up the defense. Granted, he had one fumble that, that, I don't think it hurt them. I don't know if they gave up the field goal on that or not, but still, he was tearing up the defense. You have a, a, a second and you have a second and goal from the two. You just ran like a four. Uh, it was like a like it was like a five or six yard run by Fred Jackson. They throw two plays. I don't know why they did it. It it was just it was just a bad. It was the bad. You just got nothing good from this game whatsoever. Nothing. Possibly Trent hurt it with a groin. Um, I mean, all the everybody, you know, all these JP lovers out there, all the the ones that are left, you know, all the ones that wanted to see him play, and you got to see him play. You know, two quarters, and that's what he did for you. You know, granted, you know. The best drive of the game, you know, Trent had him down at the two, but, you know, got to run the play, it's cold. You know, I'm not saying it wasn't Trent's fault, but, you know, he didn't throw interceptions, he didn't get sacked. You know, this, 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 Jerron is obviously just a, just a, inept, he's inept, now, he is inept. This coaching staff seems an F, but the defense, I, I can't get enough. They played really, really hard. If you think in this day and age that a team, you know, if you tell your team, look, you're going to give up 195 yards, they're going to get a turnover, and you're you're going to only allow 10 points. You think that in this day and age your team could, okay, say, we can win this game. We can win this game. You know, they come out against a team that just plays harder, and it, it just... And, and the kicking game was horrible. One good part about Buffalo's team is their kicking game, and Lindell just can't make a fucking field goal anymore in Buffalo. You know, he goes to KC and goes 4-4-4. Four for four. In Buffalo, he can't do shit. So, you know, he misses a 20-yarder, then a 40-yarder. You know, they decide not to go for it. There's 12 points. There could have been a game right there. You know, Buffalo wins 12-4. It's not 12-10, not sexy, but they win. This prick can make a kick. You know, th this whole team just needs to be reassessed not so much the whole team but there's a certain guys that i've earmarked that really have to go you know my cargo going on ir you know how, how hard does this guy want to play get him off the team you know he's got to go uh lossman bye bye um those two guys are, are pretty much the main the main um the center i mean that two miscues by by uh preston today like he i think he uh fault started a snap and then he he snapped it into a Loss um, to um, Edwards' hands before he thought the snap was coming, but the offensive line played pretty good today. It just pfft, it could not get a f one thing done. It was just horrible, and I don't know what the rest of the Bulls fans think. Um, but Jerron has to go. I mean, ho please, why is this guy? This guy does not deserve a three-year extension. No, no, I am not excited about that. He has to go. You know, I I it, I hate to say it. I just, I really do. I, I really hope they don't. You know, I want them to be. I want them to win the rest of their games, but it doesn't look like they will. And I really hope they could, but Jerron has to go. And if that 
entails them losing the rest of their names, then you know what? So be it. He's got to get out of Buffalo. He's just, he's, I don't care if he went to, yeah, he's dumb. He's, he's clueless. You know, some of the timeouts that they take, I don't understand why they take them. They just seem like they're lost. Like the right personnel isn't in. The, the, it's just, it's just fucked up from top to bottom. And it just like, seemed like it's unraveling even worse than, than anything. You go and lose to a team like this. You lose to a team like the Browns. Like, come on. Come on, you know, th th these were games that we were all looking at, you know, as winnable football games. The Brown, the Brown, Kansas City 49er stretch, you know, you know, if you were on the schedule and you looked, like, those are three wins right there Bills can get. Instead, they go one and two after losing three in a row to the division, to the division, you know. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm just, I'm still like, I'm just disgusted right now. I really am. I've, I've, I've been, been just disgusted, and just, it's just ugh, right now. I just, he's got to go. Jerron has to go. He's got to go. You know, Lawson got to go, and they might even need to look at the front office and, and reassess Brandon and Modrak and guys like that because I don't know about them either, really, to be honest with you. So. All right, Bills fans, you take care. Hope your holiday weekend was good. And this definitely left a shitty taste in your mouth, though, after Thanksgiving. So, I don't know. And then, well, we get to see him play in Toronto next week. That's great. All right, Bills fans, you have a good weekend. A oh, week, sorry.